In today's session, we're gonna be taking a look at a handful of shortcuts that you can use within Microsoft Excel to help you become more productive. Let's take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file that's available for you to download. This file is called Excel Shortcuts-01, and it is available to you. If you drop down into the description of this video, just right down below, you'll find a link to the Office New blog, where you'll then find a link to download this exercise file. And you could use it to follow along with me or to practice these shortcut keys on your own. So make sure you jump down to that link and download the file. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the course, you learn something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up because that helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm posting here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that I upload to this channel right here. All right, let's jump into our first shortcut key. So within this workbook, I've got four little worksheets, sum, chart, table, and quick selection. I'm gonna start out on the sum worksheet and here's our first shortcut key. There's actually gonna be two that I'm gonna throw in here. So my main goal here is to sum up the weekly totals and the individual sales people totals, as well as a grand total. Now I can use the auto sum button and I can go through and sum up each of these columns and rows one at a time, or take a look. I'm gonna highlight this range of cells right here, B10 to E10, that's where I want some column totals. Then holding down my control key, I'm gonna select the F5 to F10 column. So I'm going to get those two ranges right there. Because they are non-contiguous ranges, I'm using my control key to select both ranges. Now, here's the shortcut key to sum that all up. Once they're selected, I'm going to press Alt equals, Alt in the equal key, and that'll apply the auto sum to all of the selected cells right there. There's our shortcut key number one. Let's take a look at our next one. So our next worksheet, we've got a chart worksheet where I've got the same little table here, just a nice little table of salespeople with their sales data for each week and some grand totals. Now I wanna quickly create a chart based off this data. So first step, I'm gonna select the data that I want to include inside the chart. In this case, I'm grabbing A4 to E9. With that selected, I'm now gonna press the function key F11. On my keyboard, find the function key F11. I'll give that a click, and I got a new chart. Boop, right there. F11, you select your data, F11, you've got a chart. And notice, when I use the F11 key, it does create a brand new worksheet for me, in this case, chart one, where it holds my chart. All right, that's shortcut key number two. Let's take a look at our next. So I'm gonna hop over to my table worksheet. I've got a simple little list here. Got some column headings along the top employee ID, last name, first name, department, location, and then a handful of records down below. Now I wanna take advantage of Excel's table tool here so I can get some formatting and maybe a total row and so on. So I'm gonna click into my lists and then on my keyboard, I'm gonna press Control T, T like table. This is gonna bring up the create table interface. It's got the range selected, B2 to F11. Yes, my table does, or my list does contain headers. I'll click OK, and I've now formatted my list as a table. Control T is your shortcut key. Just make sure you click into your list and then run the Control key, Control T shortcut key. All right, there's our next one. Let's jump into our next shortcut key. I'm going to move over to the quick selection. This one I'm going to involve a formula, but really what I want to show off here is I want to show off how you can make quick selections of a range of cells utilizing a keyboard shortcut. Take a look. So here I've got a nice little table, employee ID, last name, first name, department, location, and here I've got an employee ID. Now what I'd like to do is get the last name for that employee. Well, there's many different ways for us to do this. One of them is the X lookup. This is a relatively newer function inside of Microsoft Excel. This is much like the VLOOKUP or the index match pairing. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna jump into cell D, what is that, 15 there? And I'm gonna say equals X lookup, there it is. 
All right, first thing it wants to know is the lookup value. So I'm going to grab the C15 cell. That's what I want to look up. I'm going to do a comma. The lookup array, well, I need to get this range right here. Now, it's not too big of a deal just to use my mouse because it's a small amount of data. I just need B3 to B11. But what if you had hundreds or thousands of rows of data here? Well, I'll click into the first cell and then holding the control shift keys, then down arrow. Essentially, the arrow key in the direction you want to select. Control shift down arrow grabs that range for me. I'll do comma. Next thing it wants to know is, well, okay, I'm going to look into that range. I found it. Now, what do you want me to return? So I need the return array. And in this case, I'm looking for last name. So I'll grab C3. And then once again, control shift down arrow. Grab that range. Then I can do a comma and I can continue with my X lookup but it's control shift and your arrow keys to make a selection and very helpful within a formula. Here with the X lookup, if it's not found, I'll just do two quotes. So I essentially just want to return nothing and then match mode, comma. I want to find the exact match. So it's zero. I'll close that parentheses, hit my enter key. And there is Kane 1075. Kane is the last name. If I change that to... 1167, there's Berwick, 1167 Berwick. Control shift in your arrow keys to help you make selections within your formulas. So make sure you try each of these out. There's a handful of shortcut keys to help you become more efficient and productive as you work inside of Microsoft Excel. And don't forget, if you learned something new here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get updates about new content that we post here. I'll see you in the next video.